Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IHE Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Data Plotly plugin to generate pie charts for subcatchments and how to use the Data Plotly plugin in the print layout to generate an atlas, which for each page we will have a map of a subcatchment and the pie chart with the land cover distribution belonging to that subcatchment. Let's first check our data that we previously calculated in a previous video I've demonstrated it. We have in the column DN, we have the numbers of the subcatchments, 0 to 4. We have the percentage of land cover and we have the land cover types named there. Let's uh, go to the data plotly plugin. We choose the pie chart, the correct layer. And I'm going to use here the feature subset method because I can simply select here uh, that it has to use dn equals zero. So zero out of the four basins to generate um, the graph. So the grouping field is land cover and the Y field is the percentage. Then I'm going to set uh, the plot title, land cover distribution, subcatchment, zero in this case. I want the horizontal legend and the title of the legend is land cover. We keep the rest as default and I click create plot and there we have the plot. We can move the legend a bit closer. That's of course a lot of work to do that for each catchment separately but fortunately in the print layout we can generate this automatically. So I'm going to create a new print layout have to give it a title, call it Land Cover Atlas, and there we have the print layout. I'm going to scale the paper a bit, and uh, first I'm going to draw the map on the paper. Leave a bit of space for a title, for the graph, the legend, and some other items. We go to the Atlas tab, we click Generate Atlas. We then choose this Catch Polygons layer because we're going to create a map for each DN from uh, that polygon layer. Keep the rest as default. And I'm going to change the item properties of the map to be controlled by the Atlas. And I keep the defaults there for now. Click the Atlas button and I can see now that it moves through the different subcatchments. So that's for the map. And we want the same for uh, the graph. So I click here the Data Plotly button. And I create a bit of space on the paper. And then the item properties, I choose Set Up Plot. And then we get a similar dialog as we had before. I choose Pie Chart. Choose the Corrine layer. For the feature subset, it's important to link it to the Atlas. So I click Edit. Choose Field and Values. Choose the DN. Equals. And then we use a variable which is called Atlas Page Name. So then the DN will be equal to the DN that is chosen for the Atlas page. And we link it, of course, to map one. And it keeps things at default, but here I choose land cover as the grouping field and the percentage for the Y field. So here we can change some settings for the plot title and the legend title. with land cover and then we click update plot there we have our graph and the map I would like to see a frame around the map I'm going to add a title
I'm going to call it land cover in subcatchment. And I make it uh, variable. So I'm going to add that Atlas page name again. So in this case, because I'm at page four, it's land cover in subcatchment four. Here's the title. And we see that it's variable if I move through the atlas. And we see the graph also changing. Add a skill bar and a legend. Change some settings there. I only want to see the legend uh, based on what we see in the atlas feature. So if there are less classes, it only shows those classes. And then I added a bit the labels. Add the source, change the font, choose the type new Roman italic. And they add a north arrow. That's our map, our atlas. So each page has uh, the focus on a subcatchment and the corresponding pie chart generated automatically. I can export it as a PDF. Let's call it Land Cover Atlas. I want it completely as vectors. It's vector data. I remove some other things. And I don't want it to be simplified. It's already quite a simple map. So I can keep it like that. And then we can click on the link. It goes to the place where it's stored and then I can open it in a PDF viewer. And there it is, five pages with five different subcatchments with a graph and the corresponding legend, all automatically generated. Great functionality, which was uh, financed by the way by crowdfunding and uh, really useful as you can see. For updates on videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. For more free materials, have a look at gisopencourseware.org, which has all kinds of tutorials uh, from the IHE OpenCourseWare website.